Hello, my name is Christian Alpen and today I'm going to explain how to play videos and censor music you see in Hollyhock. From other videos you might already know the device panel where you can add several different device types. Beside audio and MIDI devices you will find video in and out. Before you can use them you have to activate the video output option in the video tab in the setup. This automatically creates a default video out device. To play back a video we simply choose one from the browser and drag it onto the workspace. This creates a rack with a default video player. Now we have to add the video out device to the output of the rack, so the video can be displayed in a known window. In the patch window you have some basic parameters in excess like the start and stop position of the video and the dimmer slider to adjust the brightness. Opening the patch editor gives you access to further parameters like the playback speed. Double clicking the video window would change the display to full screen and back again to normal view. To use video effects it's useful to add an additional patch to the rack. In the modules tab of the browser you find about 50 different video effects. Choose one and drag it in the patch field we just created. Right now the effect doesn't do anything. To make it work we have to open the patch editor by double clicking the patch field so we can add the video in and output. Video effects can be controlled in real time. Let's add a fader to adjust the pixel size. And of course you can for example use a random generator. If you like to use more effects you can chain them inside a single patch or add more patches to a rack. As Yuzin is able to play several videos at the same time, we want to add a second video to the workspace. Right now for this scenario we use a single video out, but of course Yuzin is able to use different video outs for each video. For some clarity in the next steps we set individual colors for the racks. Now when we start the playback the videos are displayed in overlay in the same window. Like with audio and MIDI stuff we can use the grid to tell the videos when they should be played. So open the grid and drag the racks into it. Now the videos are played one after the other in the same window. If you open the settings panel for the grid elements by double clicking or right clicking you can for example set in and out fades for the videos. Beside the duration you can set different formats like seconds, minutes, bars and cycles and different shapes like linear, exponential, logarithmic and square. The grid lets you not only trigger racks, even the video player and effect patches themselves can be activated. So let's take the effect from rack 1, choose a nice color for clarity and drag it in the grid. <laughs> 